School districts across the state are facing budget challenges, pushing them to make difficult decisions. Kaysen Zina Taher explains the impacts locally. Julia, we're seeing Wichita Public Schools grappling with the decline in enrollment and a budget shortfall. The board has already decided to close six schools on the state level. There are a lot of factors contributing to why this is happening. Budget shortfalls for schools start with enrollment declines. Any district that is experiencing declining enrollment, which we have several, we have a lot of districts that are, uh, are having budget issues of one kind or another. Frank Harwood with the Kansas Department of Education says base state aid for districts has been increasing the past few years. Fewer students, though, still means less money. The vast majority of funding is based on student counts. Other factors also play a role, like the end of pandemic funding. Those funds that now are running out, districts are having to make decisions about how they continue some of those services that they uh, were able to fund with, with that federal funding. State Board of Education member Betty Arnold says a lack of special ed funding is also contributing. When the money comes in for the budget, special education needs has to be taken care of off the top. Then what's left is distributed to general education. The state has not been meeting its statutory obligation for uh, special education funding, and which means that individual districts are required to uh, use local funds to make up for that. He says that adds extra strain on schools. Arnold also concerned that funding often doesn't keep up with inflation. As for USD 259, the district declined to speak with us about the next steps in their plan to deal with the $42 million shortfall. What they did say is they're relying on community feedback sessions to determine their long-term plan for facilities. The dates for those sessions will be shared tomorrow. Here for you, Zena Talher, KSN News 3.